Hello and thanks for joining us. We open this newscast as Christians all over the world celebrated Easter on Sunday. It is considered as one of the most auspicious days for the Christian community after the somber observance of the Holy Week, marking the events that led to his arrest and crucifixion in Jerusalem. Christians commemorate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. To know how it was celebrated in different parts of Cameroon, stay with Dash News in our subsequent newscast to find out more. As announced on our top stories, the president of Cote d'Ivoire, Hassan Ouattara, has named the governor for, of the Central Bank of West Africa, Meliet Kone, as vice president of the West African nation. He fills a post which has been vacant since uh, 2020. Also, Patrick Ashi once more heads the new government, which has been reduced due to financial constraints. Peter Sossi. Let's now talk health. The divisional officer of Penka Michel in the Menwa division of the west region of Cameroon, Tam Liken Risha, has cautioned the population to be vigilant and exercise great sense of hygiene. This comes after one death has been registered in the division due to the cholera epidemic with seven other suspected cases under surveillance. Baseni Banene Utumba reports. You're watching Newsroom on Dash News. Analysts have tagged the recent defense agreement between Cameroon and Russia as a poorly timed deal. The former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs, Tibor Nagy, spoke about it and hinted that it won't be well received by France and the U.S. Paul J. reports. We end this newscast with sports. Good news for Cameroon's Northwest Regional Football League as the indomitable Lions uh, defender, Fai Collins, has offered them uh, with 300 balls. Uh, this donation is meant to promote football in his region of origin. Ponje reports that he, his gesture has been lauded by many. What a great move there by Fai Collins. Well, that brings us to the end of this newscast. Stay with us for more interesting stories. Remember the voice of Africa counts. Dash News is your voice.